right briefly um, this is how we're going to add an image to a twine game uh, I've shown you this before in class but I think this will uh, at least give you an opportunity to uh, watch and follow along um, so we are in twinery still um, I can we can go back if you want and we'll we can start this in a new game um, so let's start a new game again um, we're going to create that. Uh, we're in a new game. Uh, and in this first passage, we're going to double click it and open it up. We're going to do what we've been doing uh, for all of these. And that's, you know, we're going to change the title, the passage title, in this case, to start. We'll hit OK again. Um, and now we're in our game. Um, <coughs> so if we were doing. Uh, more in this we would probably at this point be setting some variables and other things like that but let's say that this is in the middle of your game and all you really want to do is add an image to the game um, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit here and use imagery from the web in this instance uh, if you want to use your own images that is totally fine, um, and I can show you how to do that uh, when we're in class again uh, at some point. Um, but the easier way to do that um, is to use images that we find on the web. It's bad practice, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, let's say we have our story here, and um, it is a story about, oh, let's say, the Revolutionary War. Um, so, um, let's say welcome to our game about the Stamp Act, and we want to have a splash screen image, right, um, right here on the, at the front of the game. Um, and we want that image to be below the text. So. Um, we put in our text, we have, and now we want to call an image, right? So we're going to jump out into another tab. So I'm going to open up a tab here. I'm just going to go to Google, um, and I'm going to search Stamp Act 1765, like that. I'm going to click up onto the images here and find one that I like. I think that is an interesting one here. So we're going to take this image here, right? Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, control click if you're on a Mac or right click it if you have a Windows machine with two buttons. And then we're going to open the image in a new tab right here. Open image in new tab. That should open a tab with that image in it. And if we click in the URL area here in your URL bar, you will see that the URL ends in a .jpg. It has to end in a .jpg or a .png for this to work. So we're going to take this whole URL right here and we're going to copy it. All right. Then we're going to go back into our story and we are going to type in a little bit of HTML code. So uh, this is raw HTML, and what we're going to be doing is calling out to the internet um, for that image. So we're going to start with a less than sign, um, right? And we're going to type IMG, that is the HTML tag for image. Then we're going to make a call for the source of that image. So we're going to type image space src source, right, equals. Um, so the image that we're looking for, the source equals, and we're going to put in two quotation marks like that. In between those two quotation marks, we're going to paste in that URL from the image that we selected earlier. So we paste in that image. That is not the right one. Hold on. Let's go back and grab that as a YouTube video. We don't want that. 
Um, we want to come up here. We want to copy that. And let's make certain that we did that. We'll come back into our twine and we will paste in there. Yes, there we go. You can see it is that JPEG image, right? And you can see it's 67 underscore 002 dot JPEG, 67 underscore 002 dot JPEG. We're gonna paste that in there. We need to make sure that both right ends of that URL have quotations around them. And then we are simply going to close that bracket like that. And we have just made an HTML tag for an image. So if we close this and we go to play the game, you can see that that giant image is now here. I've got my window limited to um, <clears throat> uh, so that I can make these videos. Um, but we can also fix that, right? Because that's a giant image like that. So why don't we um, make that fit a little bit better? Um, so we're going to go back to our story. We're going to open this up and we're going to say We're going to say, sorry, I got distracted there. Um, we're going to add a little bit of more, a little bit more to the image tag. Um, so we're going to add, in this case, let's add a width of, so width equals, we'll make it, let's say 600 pixels um, and a height of 500 pixels like that. Um, so we've set the width at 600 and we've set the height at 500. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to scale or not. Um, if you want it to scale, you can leave off one or the other. I'll show you that in a second, but let's see what this does. So we've added a width of 600 and a height of 500. So we're gonna close that. We're gonna go back to here and we are going to play um, this part of the game again. So we're gonna test. And you can see it is there in a much smaller state, but it's also a little bit squished Right, so if we wanted this to kind of retain its, its, um, its uh, I don't know, what is the word I'm looking for? If we wanted it to retain its dimensions, um, right, we're gonna leave off one of those, either the width or the height. So let's uh, go back to our story, right? Um, and let's pop that back open. And in this case, let's leave off the width and we'll only put the height then All right so height at 500 and what that should do is it should make the computer force the perspective of the image to maintain its dimensions um, but with a height set at 500. Uh, so let's see how that works we're going to pop back out of that we're going to jump in here we're going to hit test from here and there you go you can see that the height is marked at those 500 pixels and nothing is stretched or deformed because it's the computer's doing the math to set the dimensions to fit just perfectly, right? So you've added an image to your game and you can carry that wherever you'd like, right? So if you had another passage that you were working in, um, you would just, let's say we're gonna go to, um, a passage called play the game and in this case we open that you can see back here play the game has opened up so we're going to double click on that I'm going to go back to our start passage here I'm just going to copy the image tag that we wrote earlier copy that we're going to go into the play the game one and we're going to paste that in and let's say we go out for another image let's say we want this one here 
um, this kind of cool Colonial Williamsburg image. So we're going to hit Control. We're going to open the image in a new tab. You can see it popped open a new tab here. So we'll click on that tab. We're going to go up and look at the URL. Make sure that in this case it doesn't end with a JPEG. So that one's probably not going to work. Um, some web developers have are, are, are very cognizant of people doing what we're trying to do here. Um, and there are ways to set a URL so that you can't use an image that way. So we'll just go back and find a different image, um, one that is kind of closely related, let's say like this one here. Let's try that again. So we're going to click on it um, with an open image and new tab. We go back up, we look at that, click here, and you can see that this one does end in JPG. So we can copy this. So I just highlighted the whole thing. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into our game and we're going to replace the URL in the tag that we copied with that new image. And we're going to paste that in. And for consistency sake, what we're going to do is just keep this height set at 500. So all of our images will look roughly the same on the page, right? Um, so if we now, and then we could type, right, the anti-tax parade has begun. You're drawn to the commotion and nearly brought to tears by the emotion of it all. all right so we've got an image right and then we'll have in this case rather than having the text above the image like on our last one we'll have the text below the image um, right so the way that twine reads into the game field um, is in order, right? So if you put your image at the top and then put your, te your text below, the text will be below the image, right? If you put your text above the image tag, the text will be above the image. It's kind of common sense. Um, so here we are, we're gonna close that. We're gonna close out, start. We'll go back to the start and look at this from the beginning. So we're gonna test from here. There's our first, right, uh, image that we added to the welcome to our game about the Stamp Act. We're gonna hit play the game, right? And now you can see the second image, roughly the same size, um, right? And there is our text. So that's how you add an image to a Twine game.